I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 28 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team Let's Play. Guys, if you missed last episode, we had quite the eventful episode. We recruited six new Pokemon, I believe. Um, we'll quickly read off the list here. We got Saviper, Sandshrew, Mankey, Venonat, Tauros, aka Alistar, and Illumis. We're at 39 Pokemon currently out of the 386 Pokemon we need, so we still got a long ways to go. But, we're also at 6,000 points at, in our Platinum rank. Once we reach 7,500 points, we'll be in Diamond rank. And as I mentioned in the last couple episodes, once we reach that Diamond rank, we'll go ahead and go after uh, Groudon and maybe Kyogre as well. Um, so I got some good news and bad news. Bad news is, I deleted some of our job list. Uh, we were saving a couple missions back so we can kind of unload a bunch at once. So I found out that the maximum you can have is two sheets of missions, which I believe are eight missions total. But the good news is, we have some missions to replace those. I had to make room because we're doing some Wonder Mill missions today. I uh, got all the missions in here through the Wonder Mill for the exclusive Pokemon in this game. So in Pokemon uh, Red Rescue Team, which is for the Game Boy Advance, there are, I think it's, is it seven or six um, exclusive Pokemon here? Uh, we can quickly look down the list here. We'll look... Okay, it's not that one. Uh, we have uh, Plusle or Minion, one of the two. Porygon, Feebos, Melodic, uh, t -t 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 Mantine, and Roselia. So those are the exclusive Pokemon in this game. And then, of course, on the Red Rescue Team, we have exclusive teams for the Blue Rescue Team. So there's Wondermill uh, passwords for those as well. So it looks like a lot of them are Thunder Wave Cave and a couple are Tiny Woods. So that's pretty good for us. We can get them out uh, done pretty quickly. Um, it's gonna be interesting though because there's a couple on the third floor there. Hmm. We'll be doing those first, but we're gonna be. Oh, we can only take one or the other. Hmm. Not as good. Oh, because ah, I can only take a couple because of the uh, escort missions, huh? Please help. Please take me with you. Can you only have one escort mission at a time? Interesting. So then why don't I do this? We'll suspend you, take you, and then we can take this one too. So yeah, we can do three, and then we can come back when we get more Thunder Wave Cave missions, and we'll do that one as well. And then of course we got these couple uh, Tiny Wood missions, but we're going to do those. And what that does is it unlocks us uh, the ability to recruit those Pokemon when we see them in dungeons. And it's something we had to do at some point, and as I mentioned last episode, I wanted to go ahead and uh, set us up some Wonder Mill missions. Um, it's that time, right? We also have a certain set of missions that we have to do, uh, Wonder Mill missions specifically to unlock new friend areas that we can unlock as well. Uh, so we'll be doing that at some point. Not in this episode, but maybe next episode, maybe in a couple episodes. But ultimately, our goal, guys, as you guys know, is to get to Diamond Rank. So then we can also uh, go ahead and recruit Groudon or Kyogre. I don't know if we can do Kyogre yet. Uh, we may have to have Surf to get into Kyogre's area. I know we need Fly to get into Rayquaza's area. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we have another Thunder Wave Cave mission. Ah... <sighs> I kind of want to keep that. We'll probably have to delete one of our other two missions. What do we have available to delete? Uh, we'll delete this Mount Blaze one. Actually, let me just double check. Make sure it's not a special mission. It's not. So we'll just delete it. Um, we'll take that Thunder Wave Cave. We'll accept it. And we'll uh, do that one with the other mission. That way we're kind of doing you know, multiple missions at once. Kind of killing multiple birds with one stone. Um, our items are probably fine for this mission. They're really quick. They're like... Uh, up to the fifth floor, which will take us minutes, you know, it'll be really quick. We'll go ahead and save beforehand, though, just in case something happens. Uh, so let's get to it, man. So, quickly, uh, where am I? Third mate. Okay, making sure we don't need any items, which we don't. Uh, that's rock and roll. Thunder Wave Cave. So this is pretty cool. We're going to begin some uh, exclusive Pokemon uh, that we'll be able to uh, recruit now. I believe uh, doing this mission we get access to a minion, I believe. I think, uh, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe, because it would make sense because uh, 
Colossal would be maybe exclusive to the red version because it's a red Pokemon. And then Minion is exclusive to the Blue Rescue Team game because it's blue. So maybe we get access to Plus. We get one or the other. Um, at the end of the day is all that really matters. All right, let's take out uh, Ponita. I think we have a Ponita. Or Ponita. Poochiana. Wow. I called it a Ponita. That's wild. Uh, I got a bunch of gravel rocks. We'll grab the, uh, the apple just in case. Since we didn't bring one with us. Got a lot of Poochies here. I'm positive we have a Poochiana. Because I think we even named it Kiba. I think it was one of the first Pokemons we recruited. Yeah, our fourth Pokemon we recruited, and it is Kiba. Thought so, but you know, I'd like to double check before we just say no. All right. I like the volume might be a little too high. Nidoran female. I don't think we have one. I know we have a Nidoran male because we named him Triple H. The game. Uh. Yeah, we don't have one, so we'll definitely take her. Um, we'll name her... It only makes sense to name it Stephanie, right? Stephanie McMahon. It's a wrestling thing, but... Let's see. I'm going to double-check my spelling of Stephanie as well. I'm pretty sure it's uh, P-H-A-N-I-E. I know you could probably spell it multiple ways with mo uh, most names, but we gotta make sure it's the right Stephanie. Although I don't think there's too many different alterations of Stephanie, but I'm sure it does exist. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got it. We're good. We're good. Again, just double checking my spelling because I always worry about that, especially when it's on YouTube because then it's immortalized forever. <laughs> Forty-six Poke Dollars. Did we not find the stairs? It has to be at the bottom then, right? I thought that was a dead end. No, I'm just a dummy. Alright, so now we're on the third floor. This should be one of our clients. Yep. Excellent. It's Feeboss. Remember catching Feeboss in the uh, original, like, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, how painful it was? And then to evolve into Melodic, yeah, to make it, like, super beautiful. I kind of like that, to be honest. I remember, uh, I was playing Ruby and Sapphire, and I was playing to complete the Pokedex as a kid. And I remember Feeboss and Melodic, I think, were the last two Pokemon I needed for my Pokedex. And I was so proud when I completed it. It was the first time... Uh, legitimately that I completed because like in Pokemon red and blue and yellow uh, well I don't know if yellow has the glitches but like red and blue have so many like glitches that you can hack like rare candies and you can catch like special Pokemon and stuff by surfing um, old school stuff there and uh, so like Ruby and Sapphire I feel like it was the first time I actually completed the Pokedex uh, legitimately <laughs> and I didn't do it in gold and silver and, and crystal I never really aimed to do that when I uh, played those, so I was, even, I was obviously even younger. Uh, no, we have one more mission to do. An Elekid. You know, I don't think we can recruit Electabuzz. I really wish I could figure that out. I mean, you could probably look it up and find that out pretty easily. Uh, what I'm talking about is, I don't know if you can recruit certain Pokemon that are evolved. Like, I don't think we can recruit, like, Nidoking and Nidoqueen, for example, but we can recruit Nidoran and Nidorina, Nidorino, and then evolve them into a Nidoking. So, what that means is, when a Pokemon like Poochyanna, for example, if we can't recruit Mightyanna, um, maybe we get two Poochyannas because we'll have to evolve one by leveling, which is going to take a while. I really hope we don't have to do that, but we probably do for some Pokemon. Alright, so we got three of them done already. Let's quickly take a look at the uh, bulletin board, see if we can't find any other Thunder Wave Cave missions, and then we'll knock those out real quick. I mean, they're not worth a lot of points, but hey, all points add up, right? And since we're already there, we might as well. Doesn't look like it, so... I mean, we have two missions. We could do the Tiny Force ones first. And then come back and do Thunder Wave Cave, maybe we can find a, a third mission. That's not a bad idea. 
All right, so we have another escort mission. It's Tiny Woods. Tiny Woods ain't too big of a deal. Oh yeah, let's add uh, Nidoran and female to our list here, our 40th Pokemon. Uh, we're making some decent progress without actually really trying to make progress on our Pokedex, so I'm not too upset about that at all. Um, and then we gotta make sure we get the nickname on there. There's Stephanie. All right. How's our items looking? We're not. Eh. Honestly, we're not full, but we might as well deposit them. I mean, we're right here, right? Would hate to not be able to pick up some items. Because I was too lazy to, to store them. But the thing is, the missions are going to be so quick, I feel like it's almost just a waste of time to do that. But watch us find, like, you know, like 10 gummies or something. I'm like, man, I really wish I had a little bit of a little bit of space here. Alright, so job list. Let's go ahead and save. We won't take Hanyo with us this time. We don't need Hanyo for this. I mean, we're we were one-shotting Pokemon with just our auto attack. So like, it's gonna be an easy mission. It's the first uh, area that we went to, I believe, if I remember correctly. Obviously, it's the first in the order of uh, maps that we could choose from. So, got a Wurmple here. Who can who can we recruit? Nobody really. It's interesting. Got some money. How much money? Thirty-four Poke Dollars. It all adds up, man. We also bought all the uh, Pokemon friend areas. I think it was the last episode or uh, the episode before. I think it was the last episode. So, like, we don't really need money, really, besides buying just, like, extra stuff for, like, adventures. Um, like, TMs and stuff would be cool to buy, but that's pretty much the, the extent of our money. It was used for the uh, friend areas. Don't really need much else. Alright, so we got some money here. But like those guys sell like you know re you know reviver seeds and TMs. Maybe we can find uh, eventually they'll sell like flies so we can go to Sky Tower. We can easily get a Wondermill mission for that. There is a Wondermill generator. Um, I try. I will try to avoid that. Like there's our client Manti. Like I used uh, the Pokemon Conquest generator a while back when we did the Pokemon Conquest Let's Play. Um, but that was only because, like, some of the missions, or not some submissions, but some of the passwords that I was finding weren't working <laughs> for some reason. But not only that, there was, like, a limited amount of passwords, so, like, I couldn't do, you know, the, the Sneasel password, for example, multiple times. So, we use a generator to kind of get around that so we can complete, you know, the uh, Pokédex and uh, get all the... The, it wasn't even really the Pokedex portion. It was we were trying to get everybody their best linking partner, all the warriors. So like some stories, you would only get access to a couple of the warriors, and let's say there's like four warriors that use that uh, Pokemon as their best, best linking partner. You know, we'd have to do it a couple of times. So if you only have one password for that, it's almost impossible to do that. So I did have to save us a lot of time. You know, we could always do that here if we need to, but if I can avoid it, I will. So, yeah, I don't have anything there. Okay, so now all we have left are these two Thunder Wave Caves. So let's take a look at the bulletin board real fast. Like I said, these are going to be real fast. Um, none. Okay, so there's no other mission really. Um, Mount Blaze. What what do we have, Sid? We have a Magma Cavern. I think what I might do is grab both these Mount Blaze ones and hold on to them for a minute. But we're going to go ahead and do the Thunder Wave Cave ones real quick. Again, not going to bring Hani out. It's not necessary. I think Maki will be plenty of fire power uh, for this mission. So we'll go ahead and save. But there's still a lot of Wondermill missions we can use. And I, there might be just a Wondermill mission, period, uh, that you don't need to necessarily a generator for that someone just posted online for the HM Fly. And we can look. Because I would like to go to... Uh, the Sky Tower, because there's a lot of experience to be gained there, for sure. I think what I'll do, if, if another Poochian asks ask me if I can, uh, if I want to recruit it, I think I'll do a quick Google search and see if I can't find an answer to uh, us being able to recruit, you know, evolved Pokemon. Or if there's instances where some Pokemon can't be recruited because they are evolved. Um, we can only get their, their basic uh, Pokemon. Because that will be information we'll probably need and want to know uh, for sure. Since, of course, our ultimate goal is to complete the Pokedex. Alright, so it's third floor and fifth floor, right? I just want to double check. Yeah. 
Yo, look at Melodic. Do you have a Rattata? No, we got one more mission to do here. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's Plusle! I didn't even know Plusle was uh, here. Oh, there's Minion. So now we should be able to recruit both Plusle and Minion. Yeah, we can. Perfect. Alright, going to the fifth floor. There's a lot of items. A lot of items over there to our left. Might be a monster room. Ooh, let me recruit. Damn. Last seed. So here we go. Alright, so we got those missions done. We can now recruit Melodic as well. Well, that one wasn't a recruit mission. That was just uh, just another mission to do while we were doing the other one. Alright, so that takes care of all of those jobs. We have a couple of Mount Blaze missions, and we, of course, have an A-rank Magma Cavern mission. Um, we're sitting at 6,100. You know, I'd like to get to 7,500 within the next couple episodes. I think it's definitely a reachable goal. I think we need to keep our eyes open for Fly. Because doing those Sky Tower missions, a lot of them are A-rank missions. That's worth so many points. Would love to cash in on some of those. Um, okay, so we have, again, a Sky Tower, right? Uh, Great Canyon. We got a couple of Mount Steel missions. Great Canyon. Man... How about this? How about this? Let's do a quick Google search. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Whiskey Team Wonder Mail. Okay, I did a quick search for fly. It didn't work out for us. Um... How about we go here? Recruitment guide. That might actually give us an answer to something we want, so hold on. Uh, recruitments, requirements for recruitment. Uh, t -t 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 to recruit one Mr. Phil, uh, multiple comp uh, conditions must be met. You must have the correct friend area. The team leader must strike the final blow, of course. The Pokemon must be adjacent to you. You must have enough room. Okay, so you can only have six star size at a time. We know all that information. Uh, Pokedex. Okay, so this kind of answers my question a little bit. Where, like, for example... I don't know, because you can recruit Blastoise, but you can't recruit Venusaur, it looks like. So you can recruit some Pokemon, but not all of them. So, for example, can we recruit Electabuzz? No, we have to evolve Elekid at level 30 instead of... Okay, so I might want to keep this page up at, at certain times, so we need to look up if we can recruit uh, certain evolved Pokemon. Okay, so that at least gives me that bit of information. Uh, the Wonder Mail stuff, not really finding a good answer here for it. How do you get Fly, Pokemon, a Mystery Dungeon, Blue? Easily be able to find, okay. So there's a Wonder Mill for it, Tiny Woods with this Wonder Mill. Uh, you can get HM Fly on the 30th floor of Wyvern Hill. In order to get to Wyvern Hill, you must first complete an optional mission with the Friend Area Dragon Cave as a reward. Okay, so it's another uh, Wonder Mill mission for that. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, uh... And this is probably a generated mission, but this is something that someone's posted. Um, like I said, I'm not too, like, against it or anything. I just would like to avoid it if all possible. So we're going to quickly do a Wonder Mill. We're going to get Fly so that we can actually go to, uh... Sky Tower. That would be nice. So let me restart the, uh, game here real quick. So, Wonder Mill... 
trying to be quick here. So let me pop open. I'm gonna have to move. It's gonna mess up the screen for a second. Well, oh, hold on. I can just do this. It's probably easier. Move this over here for a second. All right. All right. So it is, and of course, you guys can feel free to use this if you want to, if you're playing as well. Uh, for a question mark, then like a dash, and then a capital N. Then we got H4Y. You ain't got no alibi. H4Y. Question mark. H4Y? 18 question mark 8. Okay. 7R question mark explanation mark. So 7R. Was it question mark? Yeah, and then explanation mark. And then 64NR. And a 40 question mark W. W. And I'll kind of leave it up here for a second. So if you guys want to pause the video or something, if you want this code, I mean, obviously you guys can just Google and find it. But if you guys are playing along or something, uh, this will give you a chance to get the password. And there we go. So let me then minimize this screen, pop this back up. And we'll go ahead and enter that code there. All right, so we got the Wonder Mel. Let's go to continue. All right, so now it is a tiny woods. It's a one floor mission. We'll go ahead and do that real fast. All right. So I'm trying to get the heck out of my face. Yeah, this definitely smells of <laughs> a uh, generated mission for sure. But hey, we'll take the fly. We got it. That's all that matters. Now, do we have to teach a Pokemon fly or can we just have it in our inventory? We'll find out here in a second. Uh, am I a joke to you? Now we come back and there's not a single uh, Sky Tower mission available. <laughs> but there is a Mount Blaze and we'll keep this uh, up where first one is what's a B rank. So we got a few Mount Blaze ones. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. I fainted, I fainted. You don't need a Revive Receiver do you? Please save my friends. So we got 11 floors with the missions here. Nothing too crazy. We'll bring Hanyo with us. Um, we're going to deposit some stuff. This is going to be a little bit of a longer mission. We'll make sure we bring a couple apples with us. Uh, we'll leave fly. Uh, reviver seed, just one we'll probably do. We probably don't even need reviver seeds. Me and Hanyo are pretty dang strong. But uh, we'll bring it just in case. We'll bring one. We don't probably don't need two Ornberries either. We'll bring one just in case. It's kind of, uh, you know, as a precaution. Watch himself fly. <laughs> no. Alright, so now we're gonna go save. No, actually, we'll grab Hanyo and then save. Join the team, please. Thank you. Alright. There we go, Mount Blades. Quick reminder. Mission objectives, we have 6, 4, 8, 4, and 11, 4, so pretty easy missions here. Um, as we've been doing in the past, just kind of skipping over items a little bit. If they're close, if there's a bunch like right next to each other, maybe a monster room, we'll definitely uh, target those. Um, when we don't know where to go, of course, we'll walk towards items. But uh, overall, we're just going to try to rush through this as fast as possible. Try to get as much experience points we can get in, uh, in a single run as fast as possible didn't mean to do that uh, we can do this work. you gotta be careful because I am a fire Pokemon Hanyo can't come with me on these different uh, adventures but Hanyo is strong enough that Hanyo can handle herself as can I so it's not a big deal as long as we don't have like an escort mission escort mission is when that gets to be very uh, painful <laughs> So we already made it to the sixth floor, which is our first uh, objective here. So that's nice. Bullet Siege is taking them out, no problem. We've got a roar team. We can definitely sell that for a little bit of scrap. 
Numa was gone. We don't have a Numa, do we? I'm pretty positive we don't. Want to double check though. Heck yeah, man. We'll take a Numa. We'll add it to my list until we get out of here because we've lost many of Pokemon's after we've done that have to add to delete them. So, uh, nope. We still have a couple missions left to do, of course. All right, seventh floor. Ooh, a Torkoal. Huge Torkoal fan. This guy. Huge Torkoal fan. I like turtles. I like turtles. All right, so we're gonna go grab the TM. Of course, we'll head over to those items up there. Yumo can walk on lava, so that's pretty nice. Oh, perfect. Grab a couple of Poke Dollars here. Eighth floor, that should be another objective, it is. And then the top left. X ray specs are just so good, man. Such a useful item. Highly recommend. If you're playing this game, to definitely get a pair of those. It's a Metagross. No. Got one more mission, which I believe is the 11th floor. Yeah, mess them up, Numo. Oh god, Numo, no! I missed. Numo, no! I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry, Ponyo. I panicked. Speaking of which, hold up. What do you, what do you have for IQ? Status checker, EXP, go getter. You have self cure activated. Okay. You're gonna. I was gonna say she's gonna, she's gonna hit him with something. Proceeding to the ninth floor. Went up here. Rapidash picked up some money. Can we recruit Rapidash? See, we can't. So that's interesting to me. Tenth floor. We got one more floor to go. Pokedollars got a purple gummy and 40 points. White gummy, gold gummy, 40 points, nice. Alright, so let's take a look at the bulletin board here. We want to see what we can do with Sky Tower because we do have Fly now. Oh, we got a couple Sky Tower missions available. That's really good. Uh, Mount Blaze. Didn't we just do Mount Blaze? We did. Um, accept. Accept. We're going to 24th, uh, 21st floor. Sorry. Uh, it's a long mission. We'll definitely be sure to bring Hani out, and we'll also be sure to bring uh, a couple apples and everything else. Uh, what do you got for sale? Huge apples? We'll buy a couple huge apples. That should do it. Um, what do you got going on here, bud? Thunderbolt. Don't need it. Don't care for it. We'll go ahead and store the money. Make sure we got... Extra Viver C just in case. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher. Both of my Pokemon are also weak against flying types, so that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, I could bring I could bring Zapdos. I mean, we're not really trying. We're not getting legendary Pokemon, so like Zapdos's size isn't an issue. That's definitely true. Do you think they have Flygons though? They might. 
We'll just stick with our normal team. I guess in that sense, I could bring Articuno. Ellie. Nah, uh, oh yeah, we need to probably need some Max Elixir. At least one. We could probably get rid of the Ornberry. Alright. Should I take Ellie instead? We'll stick with our with our regular team for now. We might take Ellie on an adventure eventually. I love Articuno. My favorite legendary bird for sure. Alright, Sky Tower, here we go. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's right. So we have to have fly, which we own. So we have to have a move. Okay, so Pokemon has to have fly. Okay, so in that case, standby. I can take Articuno with just me and uh, and Maki. I can also just teach it to uh, like Murkrow or something. What's your move set? Ice Beam, you don't have a whole lot of moves. Powder Snow's good. I'm thinking about just taking Ellie, because I want to be able to recruit Pokemon as well. Um, and the thing is, she's a, she's a four star in size, right? We... I'm not sure what size Blaziken is. I'm assuming it's a one star. So we can probably take another one star Pokemon and we can recruit one. Let's do it. You know what, hold on, before I do that, I changed my mind, hold on. We're gonna use Articuno, but I gotta do something else first. I'm sorry, I'm so indecisive right now. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird sometimes to use a Pokemon that's not, uh, Maki. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bunch of gummies. We have plenty that we can feed her. Uh, we have Ice Beam. Sure, he has Ice Beam. Uh, we're gonna teach her Fly, so that's a move she'll have. Uh, can she learn any other moves that we have? Aerial Ace instead of Mind Reader, and then we'll take how many clear? Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. How many clear gummies do we have? Twelve. So we'll grab as many of those as we can. That way we can raise our stats a bit. Uh, sky gummies, we'll take as many as we can in our inventory. Okay, that wasn't very many. Alright, so let's go back to uh, Ellie here. Get some stats up as well. That's the most important thing. Self cure. That's really good. Quick dodge is really good. Nice. All right, now we'll make her the leader. And then we're gonna visit Maki, and Maki's gonna be on standby. So we're just taking we're just taking Ellie. Is that a good idea? Yeah, because then I can't recruit Pokemon otherwise. So we're going to take Ellie. Um, we're going to teach her some new moves. Uh, we have X-ray specs in here I can grab. So I don't have to take them from Maki. Right? Yeah. Alright. That should be all I need. We have apples. We got. We might want to bring another Max Elixir. Because we're only having one Pokemon. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and save. And we'll head to... Oh, can we not teach a fly out here? Oh, we can. Perfect. Uh, we're going to get rid of Mind Reader. Oh, we're going to learn Aerial Ace as well. We're going to get rid of Mist. Alright, so excellent. Oh, we can use fly... I mean, of course, it's an HM. 
Of course, back in my day, uh, TMs weren't reusable over and over again, which I love that feature of Pokemon, by the way. But you can't do that. Like, that came in, what, 6th gen? I think so. I was so hyped about that. Of course, in uh, Pokemon... HMs, however, which is what Fly is, was always reusable, which was always cool. Alright, so... We're gonna equip these. Right, I think we're good. We'll see what we can manage with Ellie. It's our first time using her. I'm not sure what level she is. To be honest, but we'll find out here once we get to Sky Tower. Here we are. She's level 53, so she's... You know, high level enough. We'll go X-ray specs. We're also gonna go ahead and set them. Whoa, chill, chill. We'll set Powder Snow for now. We gotta shup it. Such a strong move. Okay. Does that hit the entire room? I think it does. We got a Lunatone. Oh, that does nothing to us, dude. That it, that it, that missed. I'd be curious to see how much rock throw does. Because we are an ice and a flying type. It'll probably do like, what, two damage? Can we recruit anything here? Uh, just shove it. Okay. I want to see what fly does. Okay, so it does exactly what you would think it would do. Okay. Very cool. So. 15 and 21, okay. So it only targeted Fortress for some reason. Also, is Ice Beam a projectile move? Like, uh... Like Razor Leaf? Shup it. Do we have a Shup it? I don't remember if we do or don't. I think we do. We don't. Nice. Another Pokemon to add to the collection. Oh, by the way, we recruited... Who did we recruit just now? A second ago. Because I forgot to write them down because I didn't think they'd stay necessarily. Oh, it's Numel. Uh, okay, a new member. No. Let me add Numel to our list here real quick. It took me a second to remember. I was like, I know... I remember recruiting a Pokemon and saying I'm not going to... Write it down yet, because uh, we may not keep it. I just couldn't remember who it was. For some reason, Weedle was on my mind. I don't know why. Stop cursing me. No. You cursed me. Why would I want you to join my team? That does so much damage. That cursed at 41 damage. Got a Masquerain. They did, anyways. Auto attack. Goes for rapid spin. Got a couple items over here. Link box. I really does not have a lot of PP, which is interesting to me. In the regular Pokemon games, I really has a decent amount of uh, PP. Got torments. I want to see is Ice Beam a projectile? It is. Okay, I kind of figured it would be. Okay, quick attack, good for you. So these guys are pretty weak. Oh no. I may have just screwed myself over by saying that. Does it shove it might die? Oh no, okay. We're good. I was gonna say shove it might get knocked out and <laughs> we might lose a reviver seed. Oh, come on, we got confused from that. So I thought did three damage, okay, so not too bad. So we're definitely way above these guys, it's like, oh my god, we almost took a shove it. Shup it, why? Snap out of confusion, you big dummy. Ah, oh, this is so stupid. So we lost a reviver seed. Good thing we brought two. You know, Articuno would be really good against Rayquaza. I don't know if we can recruit Rayquaza with just Articuno, though. Um, I'd have to look and see what size Rayquaza is, because I know that Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno are all size 4. So when we uh, brought Zapdos with us, was it against Articuno? 
Um, we used Zapdos because we were like, oh, we can have, you know, Zapdos take on Articuno, which should be very easy, and it was, but we couldn't recruit it because, um, Zapdos was too big. Definitely a lot of money here, though, which is good. Clear gummy, always useful. Got a couple dust skulls here. Might be able to recruit dust skull. I guess so. Uh, I love dust skull. Uh, I'm really a big fan of dust noir. Of course, dust noir is not in this game because that's a fourth gen Pokemon. This unfortunately only goes up to third gen. Uh. We don't have a Dusk Ghost, so we'll accept it as our team member. No nickname necessary. So we got Shuppet and Dusk So very cool. Don't think we could recruit another one, because I think these two are both probably a one star in size. I don't think they can go half stars. Maybe they could. I mean, I could probably see what size they are now that we're in the dungeon. Uh, yeah, one. So we're maxed out on size. But still, two new Pokemon, if we can get out of here with them alive, is pretty awesome. Not mad at that whatsoever. Nice rock throw, nerd. Uh, we're approaching our first uh, objective here. I believe it's the 11th floor. Is it the 11th floor? 15th floor. Okay, never mind. I mean, we're still approaching it, but not nearly as quick as I thought we were. Got a nice little gummy here. It's hailing. We'll be fine, but our other two compadres will not be. Neither will our opponents, luckily. Don't flinch me. Alright, so the thing about Duskull... I won't be able to hit him. It's all up to... Oh my goodness. It's all up to Duskull, I was going to say. And shove it. Because Ghost Pokemon could luckily hit through walls. I cannot. So we just lost our last Reviver Seed that we brought with us. So it's possible we don't get to keep either of these Pokemon with us today. But we'll uh, just have to wait and see. They might be able to survive. Coughing here. Let's tackle him. Alright, so we get out of there. Twelfth floor, we got a soul rock. And we got a fly attack. Palladian. Fly attack. Trying to get hungry, let's go ahead and eat a huge apple. We'll go towards the two items. Okay, they can float over, of course. So we're gonna have to go down this way. Oh, it's uh Altaria. Look how powerful powder snow is, dude. Pumped about that. Like, if we go into a monster room, Articuno is going to tear them up, dude. Pop. Alright, so here we go. 14th floor, we got one more to go, and then we'll be in our first destination. Uh, a couple more after that, and we'll be done. Hopefully, our teammates survive that. I really would like to keep them. Ooh, that made a mistake on my part. That could have gone pretty bad for uh, Shuppet there. Alright. Alright, 15th floor in our first objective here. And it's hailing. How obnoxious. We did find a TM, though, so that's always fun. Coffin, we use auto tech. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. Self-Destruct does a lot of damage. Good news for us though, Articuno does not get hit by hail. 
Blaziken does though, so we gotta get to him quick. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Although we could have left there and kept our teammates for sure. Wanna be able to complete both missions. And it's the 21st floor, right? Yes. Fly. Gummy. Alright, we're not gonna go for the f item on the far right, but. Oh, hey, it's a scissor. Hey, it was a scissor. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next floor. We're at the 17th floor. Now we use a Patterson one up. I like how Patterson has a lot of uh, PP. Such a strong AoE attack. That's a Dusclops. Oh yeah, you can hold it as a, as a held item. That works for me. Ice Beam, bop. 18th floor. Hail again, oh hell nah. Powder Snow. Beam. All right, nineteenth floor. Just a couple more to go. I think items are right next to us. So I definitely want to go for them. Get those two out, no problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat the apple. Um, we can probably drop something. Uh, what can we drop? This apple, we have a ton of apples. Oof. We'll just do this. We're running out of space. Stamina band. We'll go ahead and ingest that. Not that we really needed to, but it's fine. Definitely didn't need to. <laughs> it's cloudy. I want this gummy. <sighs> non sleeper, hell yeah. In fact, quick dodger. Self cure is pretty nice. Oh, hello, Flygon. Goodbye, Flygon. So I was right in thinking there might be Flygons here at least. So that was a long mission, but we got her done and we recruited two new Pokemon. 80 rescue points from that mission, heal ribbon, call mine, and 80 more rescue points. Very cool. 6400. We can get to 6500 before we're done. Well, how much how much time have we used so far? 50 minutes. Yeah, we could do another uh, set of missions real quick. I don't see why not. Go a little bit longer. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and deposit some of these gummies. And then we'll sell some of this other stuff that we have. I don't know if I don't know if we have any racket bands, we'll go ahead and deposit that. Deposit this. Because at this point we can just uh, do this. Sell all. Let 
nothing good. How about you? Okay, deposit some money. Right, let's take a look at the bulletin board here. We got one Sky Tower mission. We got a Mount Blaze mission. Could be Frosty Forest missions. A La Peace Cave B-Rank mission. We're going to keep that and hold on to that for a minute. Hmm, so nothing that we already have. How about we do the two Frosty Forest missions? That'll get us over to 6,500 and then we'll call it an episode there. Um, we'll just go ahead and take Ellie with us. I'm not too worried about who we bring with us in this mission. It should be easy nonetheless. I liked I liked uh, having Ellie on the team. It was a lot of fun. A little change in pace here. Oh, we didn't accept the missions yet. So, please help our uh, Aerodactyl and can't seem to get out, so... Here we go. Try to rush through here as fast as humanly possible. Oh yeah, this is a little bit of a maze. Oh, that reminds me, I need to write down that we got a Dust Skull and a Shuppet. I know we don't have an Ozzy Reel yet. I mean, we do now, but... Shuppet. So that's our 44th Pokemon, potentially, if we get to keep it. It's pretty exciting. Special band, we got a gummy, we'll definitely take the gummy. Can we recruit anybody else? Just Azuril, okay. Second floor. Fourth floor. So we're just zooming past this one. <laughs> nice bubble attack. <laughs> Did nothing. How weak are you, Azuril? Eleven. Can you go in the water, Azuril? Yeah, you can. Okay. Ice beam. Oh, it's a ditto. Ornberry. Why not? Can we recruit Nose Pass? Yeah, and Ditto. Sixth floor. I will quickly check these items. Ah. Eh. Wasn't really worth it, but hey, never know. Could be some gummies. Seventh floor. What's the floors we gotta be at? Gotta be close. Eight and nine. Okay, yeah. Layer on. That's a ditto. Like Mighty Anna, okay, so we can't recruit Mighty Anna, so we have to get two Poochianas, I think, and then evolve one. Because we want to have one, one of each Pokemon, so that means we have to have the pre evolution and the evolution of all Pokemon for our Pokedex. Come here, Dacto. I'm not, I know I'm scary to you because I'm an Ice type, but uh, you're going to be okay. Alright, final mission here. Getting hungry, not a big deal. What's oh, snowing? Up. 
Azure Grizzle 12, look at you. Come here, Flygon. It's okay. Oh. No, thank you. <laughs> Actually, out of habit said no. Got a Hill Ribbon 60 points and 60 more points. And we got Azuril on the team, so man, we're making a lot of progress in our Pokedex last couple of episodes. Just recruiting Pokemon after Pokemon. So we got what today? We got Nidoran Female, Numel, Duskull, Shuppet, and Azuril, so five Pokemon. Very cool. And we are at 6575, so we're 1,000 points away. It's quite possible that next episode we get to that 7500. If not, definitely just one more episode. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to put some more Wonder Mail missions probably on uh, the account here. On the account. Into the game here for the job list. Probably the ones that unlock the extra friend areas. Because I think we'll be able to recruit maybe some additional Pokemon that we can't recruit yet. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Bidding you a farewell peace and one love. <sighs> Bang!